Like it's just, it's hard wider just because there are a little extra room for the What are you doing here? I just flew in on the red eye. You know this person? It's Joe Fleming. Sky Fleming's daughter. Jill, how are you? Well, Shanky, you're a little psychopath. Brandon, what is the matter with you? What's the matter with me? I come in here to get a soda. Next thing I know, I'm involved in chemical warfare. I overreacted a little bit. A little bit? You always walk around with a can of mace. Wait a minute, are you related to Emily Valentine? Well, excuse me, but I walk into my father's house expecting to find my father, and instead I find the door open, the house completely trashed, and some strange guy walking around with a toaster oven. So I jump to the conclusion that we're being ripped off. Silly me. <laughs> it's pretty funny if you think about it. You tried to poke my eyeballs out. I'm sorry. Try to poke my eyeballs out. No, that's funny. I'm a New Yorker. I, I get paranoid. Just my man. Brandon Walsh. Brandon and I are house sitting for the next two weeks. I guess your father didn't tell you about that. Oh, I wanted to surprise him. What, he's not in town? I believe my mother said he was in North Carolina. And then, no, to give it a nice fancy... He's directing Matt Look, I will cut it down. Look, uh, once you get to know me... I'm really not a lunatic. Scissors? I'll take your word for that. So tell me. Where are you from? What's it like living in an actual pigsty? Okay. Well, Brandon and I had a major goodbye party for our sister last night. Was that last night? Yeah, don't worry, we'll get everything back to where it was and be out of here by the end of the day. Oh, no, no, you don't have to leave on my account. The more the merrier, no. right? Oh, because there's stickies on. So that I can glue it. Uh, Celeste, this is Jill. Jill Celeste. Oh, hi, Celeste. Hi. Gosh, I just took out of my class to start before 10 o'clock. Oh, like freshmen have any say in the matter. Well, if I can get this schedule, I want Thursdays off. What are you taking, Brent? Introduction to Dramatic Literature, the History of Broadcasting, and an Acting Workshop. What? People no, I'm going to flip over to see if I need to trim anything. Not the other one. Actually, I get the smaller scissors. I guess scissors. I'm starting a new trend. Brent has always been very trendy. So I gotta ask, do you know any movie stars or kids of movie stars? Just Samantha Sanderson. Gosh, I bet he's pretty screwed up, huh? No, actually, he's a really good guy. He's not a snob. He's my brother's best friend. Is he spoiled? No more than anyone else. Anyone from Beverly Hills, that is. <laughs> so what kind of car does he drive? He drives a Corvette. And my ex-boyfriend drives a Porsche. And most of my other friends drive BMW convertibles. They shop in Rodeo's rides, and they're all incredibly shallow. Fun. God, I wish I could afford those cars. Are there any other stupid questions that I can answer? Brenda, I'm sorry, but you guys are making me feel incredibly self-conscious. It's not like I'm Brenda Walsh. I'm Brenda Beverly Hills. You're right. I'm sorry. But you know, it's just the name Beverly Hills that conjures up all these images and stereotypes. Well, the way I see it, someone doesn't like me because I'm from Beverly Hills, that's their love. Absolutely. And someone only likes me because I went to West Beverly High. Okay, well, so this one... The truth of the matter is, I'm not here for the, the that cover by mistake, okay, that's fine. It really isn't. We'll just put this to the bottom. Okay. I don't know why it's we're down here. You don't want to be just way out of my price range. Guys, what's wrong with Melrose Place? We'll just use these papers instead because I already pasted it down. You know, I thought you asked me how to find your apartment because you valued my opinion, but... Okay, okay, fine. While we're down here, we'll see what's what. Don't worry, we'll find something. You guys want some juice or something? No, thank you. It's like he is regressing right before my eyes. I wish they'd run from the door. Anyway, he can have my spot, and I'll move to the beach. Cow, it has nothing to do with you. Just the thought of living on campus is so institutional. Well, you could move in with Dylan. I seriously doubt that. Oh, come on, I bet you could convince him. Maybe, if we were still on speaking terms. What? You heard me. Europe wasn't exactly as picturesque as I made it seem. 
not anything was actually turned to Lee until Dylan found out he didn't get into Berkeley. Did he? They didn't even put him on the waiting list. And at that point, we had been at that old castle for about two weeks. And frankly, I was starting to get a little claustrophobic, being in the same place with the same people who hardly spoke to me and who hardly showered. When I said something to Dylan, he just checked out on me. Wait, you mean he left without even saying goodbye? Son, you have to promise not to tell anybody what I'm telling you. I crossed my heart, hope to die. We broke up. Cal. Anybody who says being in a good relationship is easy has never been in a good relationship. Okay. And voila. Thank you for joining me on this video blog. I will complete the rest of the album, but I am not going to continue recording it. But I can always show you the finished result on my next video blog. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, you wish you could score,